We are back, continuing Banjo Kazooie. So, been a bit since we actually recorded this. Um, you've forgotten everything. Only totally. Right. Yeah. So right, okay. So what's the actual? What were you supposed to be doing right from the very start? What was the actual? Oh, we're, we're fighting the witch. So fighting her. Right. The the witch who has this nice big statue of herself. We'll just jump down here. Yeah, we've seen that, but yeah. So that that's the bad guy who we're here to beat. Yep. She has kidnapped our little sister, and is going to try and. Oh, that's right. I remember that bit. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and she's just going to try and steal her beauty. That's right. That's the that's the story. And all you're doing is running around, bouncing around, and flying around, and flapping your wings, and and winning. Yes. Well, that's that's, that's to, to um, summarise the way these episodes have gone so far. Yeah, I've been winning, just consistently. <laughs> okay. Totally. Winning. Now I'm going to do something a little bit out of order here, just to make it faster on ourselves. Making it faster on ourselves. Or well, faster on me. Faster on you. Faster for me, yes. Uh, or do you mean that you're going to move faster? No, 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 no. We're just going to unlock, not the level we're about to play, but the next level. So that is this one here. Gobi's Valley. Mm -hmm. gonna... And that means what? Oh, I, I don't that's... understand your... Grammatical sentence. Oh, we're going to make it faster. faster on you. Yeah, faster it? on me. So there is a skill in this level that we need in order to um, actually get everything in the level we're about to play. Make sense? So all the power ups and all those yeah. Type of things. Yeah, there's, right. there's a skill we need. It's uh, being able to wear shoes. Actually, yeah, you had a lot of problems with that in the early years too. Mm. So we're just going to go back to where that level is, run in, get the skill, run out. We're not going to get any notes or any jiggies at all. We're not actually playing that level. So you've gone forward a level so you can pinch something to help you in a lower level. Yeah, it basically means we're not going to... cheating. No. Yeah, because you haven't finished the level with just the normal things. Oh, I've got everything I have to access this level. I'm not cheating in any way. It just means that we'll have to go back to the other level. Yeah, so you're using a skill in the lower level that you've got from the higher level. So you haven't actually yes. played the lower level on the skill level that you should be having. What? <laughs> you're on level... We want these shoes. We're here for the shoes. Yeah, they're That's for the it. shoes. So we're not touching any of the notes because we're not playing this level actually right now. We're just going to go straight yeah, in the lower in the level before this. In the level before this that we haven't right. been in yet. That yes. you haven't been in yet. Yes. You don't actually have those shoes, do you? Not yet. Right. Hang on. No, no. But you normally you just go into that level and play that level without the shoes. Yes. So what you are effectively doing here by coming into another level, getting those shoes, then going back to the lower level, you are cheating. No. Yeah. Because what would normally happen is you would leave the level slightly unfinished and then come back to it later. So all I'm doing is stopping us from having to go back into that level at a later point by going into this level at an earlier point. Mm. Um, I'm going to stay with my, I think, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't sound you, right You, you don't me. know and you don't understand. What a shock. Well, at least I maintain my consistency. And don't cheat. I'm not cheating. Oh, Again. You're, you're cheating. Cheating would be breaking into if, levels if without using the If someone else came along, if a new player came along, they'd go through the lower level without recognising that they could go up and get these, correct? Well, maybe. maybe. A new player might also come along, not realise where the puzzle was for the next level, and skip it thinking that this was the correct order. That is a possibility. There's nothing actually saying that these levels need to be done in a certain order. Other than one, two, three, four, five, and then natural. Where is where is the number on Freeze's Peak here? Can you see a number? Well, when you started off, it said number four, level four. You come at that when you jump on that button thing. Freeze's Peak, and then there's no numbers here. Alrighty. 
So who are these things? They are little children bears. Cubs. Sure. Well, that's children bears, isn't it? I guess so. They're upset because their dad's missing, and more importantly, he hasn't brought them their Christmas presents. So, in order to solve this, we actually don't need to uh, get the dad for them. We just need to find their presents. Typical kids. Yep. Okay. And then, typical dad. I see no problem here. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Yeah. So we can't help him right now, we're just going to ignore him. But yeah, you're going to leave him there. I was going to say, why did you jump over that note? But obviously it was just a... Graphics perspective, thing. Aspect, perspective problem. Yep, just moving too fast to the ground. Oh, ping there. <laughs> Let's get there and uh, murder them. That's good. Get my health back. Remembering, of course, that health is incredibly important because if I die, I'm dead. And that is the end of the game. And as I've said before, this is probably a game that I've got a very good shot of actually finishing. Alright, let's deal with these guys. You can't actually see them throwing at you, can you? Good Whoop, that was bad. That was not good at all. That again. Mm. So these guys are probably the biggest hazard on the stage right now. Um, the other big thing is the water. If we step in the water, it will freeze us and take damage, so we mm -hmm. can't just uh, swim around. So he's supposed to be throwing kazooie at him. No, no, we do the thing that we just did. Oh, that was not good. All right, line him up, and boom. Oh, come on. Missed him. What is going on here? I think you might have said a couple of words that you shouldn't have said earlier on. What's that about possibly being able to get through this? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We'll come and get that health in a minute. Well, given you've only got two, wouldn't you be better off getting it now? Lining up on this guy here. He's got yeah. No, he hasn't. Oh, come on. No, nah, you're way off. I think you should go get the health. Yes, I am going to go get some health. Fortunately, there's health everywhere. Guys, block off. <clears throat> there we go. One left. No, two left. There we go. It's gonna get me iron. Oh! <laughs> Turned away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, at the end of the last video, we already saw where this game screwed me over with the um, the eating challenge. You didn't see it because you weren't there, but... Ah, oh, so, we already seen it. We did. didn't. You didn't. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I'll show it to you. Alright, there we go. Now that they're dead, we're going to have a much easier time with all this. So you don't need all those red feathers, or...? Ah, uh, not really. 
Gotta get the token. Ah, right, instead of spinning around like an idiot, I'm just gonna land. And slide off the roof. Slide off the roof. Like an idiot. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then we're gonna jump. Jump up. And jump down. <sighs> really? Mm. Alright. Today I learned that yeah. if you uh, jump up that high, you'll get hurt with full damage. Mm. So, like, we're not going to go in this water because it will actually freeze us and hurt. So how are you supposed to get the notes that are under the water? You have the transformation with Mumbo Jumbo. He will get you there. So yeah, those tokens we're gathering are for him, and that will allow oh, us... Oh, well, they've become like something you, you buy stuff from him with. You gotta buy the transformations, yep. And that will let us get that there. And again, we needed the running shoes in order to be able to get those. Oh, that's not good. So we need the running shoes to get the one out in the lair as well, which is why we went and got it first. Just so we could slap everything onto here. Alright, next we'll hit Ginger. If we were getting pegged with snowballs there, much easier that way. Let's do this one next. Oh, too high. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to rush it a little bit too much here. these guys up. So basically what's going to happen here is a bunch of these guys are going to get eaten by these things. And we need to try and make sure that it's a sufficiently small amount. Need to get a rhythm. And that's not good. Oh, stop missing the last one. Oh my god. So this is a massacre. <laughs> Well, we're doing this again. I can tell you right now. Is there anything else kill them? No? What about? Alright, that's gonna be easier. Well, I'll just hit him. Yeah. Kind of it's scary, really. <laughs> Please try <laughs> harder. Okay. <laughs> well, it's slow. How are you meant to stop that? Oh yeah, this is much easier. That really one's screwed. Oh, it got through. Ah oh, yeah, this is much easier. Always did it with the ground pounds as a kid. Never even you thought You mean you're doing it wrong all the time? No, so I just to do it, but... Ah, so that means your reflexes are um, dying off if you're getting older then, eh? Old age. Ah, oh, yeah, missed that one, come on. And that, that, you've dead, lost it. 
Lost it. Yeah. Lost. Yep, you lost you, you rhythm there. There we go. That's enough. We'll let the rest die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many of them still died? Even though they made it? There we go, full health. So what's the on button for? General lights or is it? Yeah. I always found it hilarious how the lights just disappeared and replaced with the, the dots to show that they were on. <laughs> now this is in some ways the most frustrating part. We've got to fly through the star like three times. How and why is it so hard? Because you do stupid stuff like that. What did you do? Press the wrong button. Oh, so, that's basically going to stop this one. Let's see if I can just reset it. So, why do you have to... Alright, you turn it on, then you got to get up there and fly through it. Yep. Alright, well, while we're waiting for that, let's just run into the middle and get the jiggy from the snowman. Remembering the challenge is to not die, and that this isn't a speedrun. There we go. First jiggy of the level. We've been here for how long now? <laughs> and that's the first one we've gotten. How many you have to get? Ten. Oh, shit. Yep. Ah, the rest of them will start. And you only gave me one bottle. There's plenty of bottles in the fridge. Yep, yeah, that means I have to move. How many times do you have to hit it? Three. This is back in the days of threes of, couldn't even say the saying right, of everything coming in threes. Now the turning button is the bumpers, not the triggers. So all you're going to do is just fly through it. Fly through it three times. Okay, within now. the timer. Oh, within a certain time. Yeah. See the, see the giant timer? Oh, 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 that was close. There we go. So now they're going to stay on. I don't know why flying around that is what turns them to stay on, but that's what does it. And there's our first present. Are the ants bother you? Yeah, they'll attack you. Grabbing all the notes. Something that's not going to affect us, but it was always the case on the 64 version that if you ever died in a level, you would lose all of the notes that you collected. Whereas in this one, it saves it as you go. Uh, so you could have 99 slip and fall, and then you'd have to collect every single note again. Which basically means you have to go across the entire level again, finding where they all were. Well, that's going back to the early days when you only had three lives. Well, technically you do start with a limited number of lives. But, the real issue is that if you save and quit, your lives reset. So what's the point? I could gather a hundred extra lives, then save and go elsewhere, and then, yeah, nothing left. Oh, he's going to run away. So we want that jiggy that he's got, but he runs away from us. So how do you get him? Uh, we have to lie to him. Oh, you, you should have no trouble. <laughs> now we're going to transform into a walrus ourselves. As I said, you'll have no trouble. Ah, uh, I did not land in that water. Enjoying the sounds. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Facing the wrong way. Come back here and die. Take that. Take that. We'll leave those ones there for now. And we'll head up the snowman. They must have felt You're so on clever on with a this. snake or something, are you? No, it's not a snake. The guy has a little bit of a little bit. Yeah. Like it's curved. It, it is, it is curved. What is it? Huh? Can you see what it is now? Still unsure? No. Right, probably not going to come back up here, so we'll grab those. Are you going to push that wall along or something, is it? No. We will be coming back to that in just a second. So is that a ski jump, is it? Not quite. In fact, you might not even have seen it. The, the giant thing in the middle of this level that we're climbing around. Oh, a snowman. Yeah. So what's the red and white thing? Oh, red and white. Red and yellow thing? That'd be his scarf. Right, okay. That'd be his scarf. Now we're going to his hat to take on the giant ice cube here. So that's a very, very poor version of asteroids. Sure. Yeah. Hit one that <laughs> breaks into another one. And <laughs> now, this is always annoying. You don't want to slip and fall here. And the hat is not level. So you can sort of get little flicks to your movement that you don't quite like. But there we go, we're done up here. And then we need the hole to get back down. You know, you want the eggs. Nah. So, what are the golden feathers? Golden feathers are for invulnerability. Back, him. Back over onto the scarf, and now we will go down on this. And that's how you do CPR. <laughs> Now he's taking the sled and running off. Meanwhile, we've grabbed those presents, so while he's off being a terrible father, we can make the kids happy. So I can only guess that they stole this from their dad. Yeah, because how would three kids get a jiggy? Well, there was a possibility that the dad stole it off the kids. But the kids still had it. No. Yes, they did. The other one. The other one, the one that he yeah. ate. Mm. What's that thing? Is that just a life thing, is it? Yeah, it's a beehive. Yeah. It has honey in it. Alright, so I need to get the walrus for that. And we need that for over there. So I think it's about time to transform. Where the boots live. <laughs> Normally I would just jump across and take the little hits of damage, but I don't want to take damage right now. You just scared your fire. Well yeah. That that's what after being scared after, is for. After cheating you just, just scared. 
No, these are not the same boots. And also, that's I not cheating. Not forgotten you cheated. I did not cheat. I ain't got to fly over. I think that's gonna be it. That's probably why they put this over here. No, the racing shoes are for the last part that we have to do. So after we beat the bear in a race once, we have to beat him again later on. Oh look, there's a completely useless extra life. We'll just uh, ignore that. Fly on in here. And Jinjo and Notes. Uh, so the last orange one is hiding in the cave, so we're all good. We've got more than enough tokens. Winning, winning, winning! I don't know, I still reckon cheat. So we'll start with the race. Well, actually, no, let's start with getting the notes. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But how long do you stay as a walrus? Until we decide to change back. Okay. Oh, and notes completed. We are rushing to finish this world off. Trying to. Alright. This is annoying because he can push you out of the way quite easily. Well, you gotta stay in front of him. Try to. I'm pretty sure there's also a bunch of rubber banding as well that'll pull him up. Yeah, see? Suddenly he's ca catching up. Stay in front of him and he should push us forward. So you just can't afford to have him run beside you. Not really. Not helpful when the monitor does that either. Oh, see, like that. We're lucky, we should be able to get him on the jump. There we go. <laughs> and we're nearly there. And there's nothing he can do about it now. That went very well. That one's nice and easy. Just get given it. <laughs> now you're saying something in the cave. There you gotta... Yeah, so in the cave we have the last Jinjo. Who so we what are the Jinjos? They're these little things up here. Yeah, I know what they're, what, they're, what they're for. What they're... Well, there's five of them hidden in each level, and you get a jiggy for finding them all. But we can't jump high enough to get him right now. We have to come back when we are no longer transformed. However, we've also got down here... Hey, you're saying you're disconnected, why? Ah, oh, probably because the internet's bollocks. We do live in Australia. And that's our two honeycomb pieces, so we can keep moving.
Alrighty, back to Mumbo to get changed back. Whoa, slow down. Hi. No idea. Either the Xbox is trying to do something in the background or there were too many snow particles. Splish, splish. <laughs> so what are those boots for? There? So those are the boots that let you walk in the cold water as Banjo and Kazooie. That's what I was looking for before when I decided to just fly. So we'll need them to get back over. Like so. Oop, they do not last long. Alrighty, so now we've got our final race and this is where you would need to use the shoes so if we hadn't got into that other level briefly the shoes would not be available to us and we just have to come back later so we're doing exactly the same thing except now we're running So yeah, this is completely impossible without the shoes, and somewhat annoying with them. He's going to come roaring back in a second and be right up my ass. See? <laughs> That is true. Can we get him in the jump? Looks like it. Only just though. Only just. Only just. But you know what they say? Only just is still a win. <laughs> and now he's gonna go look for his kid's present. He now has given away two of these jiggies which he calls medals so I think we can now confidently say that the kids did steal one of his medals mm -hmm. and now we'll finish off by going in here wow what's oh so to get that that what's it thingy yep grab yeah. the what's it thingy yeah, what's it thingy so now it gives you another puzzle piece yep and that is the last one So do you have to do anything with it or they just say that's it and that's it, well done. Now, that in there, we cannot get to. Why? That is a thing that was put in this game for Banjo Tooie, the sequel. With the plan of you putting in codes that would have access to them and then it would give you items in the next game. Mm -hmm. So since we don't have any save files for Banjo Tooie or Banjo Nuts and Bolts, we don't have access to it. and it's just hidden away from us but because we are getting all of the jiggies and because I plan on finishing this game in the cutscene at the end you'll actually be able to see that little preview showing them being collected okay and there we go that's it <laughs> just trying to update um, let's try retry see if it can connect nope All right. It was just trying to update the uh, online boards. Are you trying to jump up there? I'm trying to jump up there. Oh, I'm forgetting something. I need to break open this web first. Break open a web. Break open a web. See the web? Mm -hmm. Which one in particular? So one in the center. That's the one. Ah. There we go. So now that that's broken, we will be able to get the jiggy that we're after. 
I've got like a remote switch or something. Isn't it? Well, remember how I said we need the shoes out here as well? Yeah. So that is going to cause. Well, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Get up here. And then we have this switch. This switch is going to cause a flight pad to spawn out there, which we then need to race to get to. And it is not easy even with these shoes. I may have screwed it up. Whoa, that was close. And now we just fly back. Because that's what you do to keep flying. Makes you go higher. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, so right. Yeah. Okay. You right. Pre press the button, you fly a bit higher, and you lose a feather. I thought you said you had them all. Hey, I had them all in the level. Alright. And we're done! Level finished.